Hello and welcome. It's me, architect Piyush Pan. So I was getting many queries in my comment section of one of my video in which I have done a full detailed explanation of how to render an AutoCAD plan in Photoshop in scale. Link for that is given in the description. Many of them having issues with resolution of PDF when they export it from AutoCAD and import it in Photoshop. The PDF gets blurry when they work in Photoshop for rendering. So in this video, I have tried to resolve that issue and make a blur free PDF. If this video will help you, do share it with others and don't forget to hit the like. Okay, let's begin. I have already made a ready sample file from one of my previous projects. The credit goes to Sukaman Architects to let me use this file for this video. You can reach Sukaman Architects page from the link in the description. This file contains all layers separately for walls, boundary walls, windows and so on with their respective line weights intact. I will do multiple exports from CAD to PDF using different methods and in the end I will import them in Photoshop to compare which is better. So let's do our first export and see the result. Please follow the process carefully. Hit Ctrl plus P. A warning is coming as my printer is not connected. We don't need a printer right now so I will ignore this and go back to plot window. In the printer plotter layout select DWG to PDF. Let's select A4 file size. Center the plot and fit to paper. Now select the window in model space to get the drawing in the print area. To understand the plotting settings and scaling your drawing and how to work in layout I have made another video in detail, you will find that in the video description. Now preview the plot, right click and plot it. I am saving this file as A4 just to avoid confusion when comparing it with other PDFs. Now let's do another PDF export using the same method. But this time, let's increase the page size to A2. Plot the PDF and save it as a name of A2 this time. Now let's do our third PDF export, increasing the page size to A0, using the same method as previous, just adding a small step to it. Go to PDF option button and click it. In the window dialog, you will see two options as vector quality and raster image quality having the units in DPI. Both these options controls the graphic quality of exported PDF. So let's set the maximum value for both of them and keep other settings as default and click OK to move ahead. Apply changes for current plot only. Now preview the plot, right click and plot. And save it as a not file name this time. There is another method to export PDF which gives very high resolutions. That can be done by exporting the file in custom size paper. As in previous steps you must have seen, I have exported the PDF in standard A4, A2 and A0 sizes. But in this method, we will create our own custom size paper and export our drawing PDF in that. I have explained the whole procedure in detail in another video. You will find its links in description. Please follow it for the same. But here I will give you a short preview of that. In print plotter section, go to properties which gives you a plotter configuration edit dialog. Under user defined paper sizes, select custom paper sizes. Now click add button to start making your custom size paper. Select start from scratch option. Click next. You will see that the width and size is showing of A note size paper because I use it in the previous export. But we can change the dimensions. Let's double the A note size. Twice of 841 is 1628 and 1189 is 2378. Keep the units as millimeter and hit next. 
You can increase size in same proportion to get more high resolution PDFs. For now, let's try this one and see the output. Keep the printable area as it is and next. Change the paper size name and file name as you please. And hit finish to complete the process of custom paper size. Now, this is the key step before you go ahead for exporting. Don't forget to select the newly created paper size and click OK after that. By doing this, it will automatically add the new paper size in the DWG to PDF export rollout list with the same paper size name as saved earlier, which you can see in the screen. Select that paper size, check the window select, preview and blot. I am saving this file as high resolution. If your PDF is coming very light in texture, like you are not able to see lines until you zoom it to some level, it can be easily fixed. Just go to edit option in your Adobe Reader and go to preferences or use keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus K to bring the preference dialog. In page display option, make sure smooth line art box is unchecked to get darker lines. If I check the box and apply it, you can see on screen all lines have become very lighter. Let's change the setting and make it darker again. Now the important task to check and compare the resolution of all these exported PDFs from AutoCAD when we open them in Photoshop. Let's start opening them one by one in Photoshop starting with A4 file. It is imported as transparent background. Add a solid white color by adding solid fill layers from the options in bottom right panel. You can also add it from the layer option on the top menu bar. Go to new fill layer and you will get solid color option here as well. Now when we zoom this A4 a little bit, it would start pixelating or getting blurry quickly. Lines are also faded. Now let's open another PDF of A2 size. Fill the background with white color same way as previous. Now zoom out both A4 and A2 files we imported. You can see the lines in A2 file are lighter than that in A4. That's because the resolution of A2 file is high. But there is a way by which we can make the lines darker here in Photoshop. Follow the process as shown in screen. In the A2 size file, select the plan layer only and go to image menu on the top. Under adjustment, select levels option. Now drag the white slider in the dialog towards the black side and click OK. You will see lines have become darker and visible. To make the lines darker even more, we can also add brightness and contrast layer as shown in the screen. Keep that layer on the top of all layers to get the effect. Now in the properties panel, drag the contrast slider to maximum and brightness slider to minimum. By doing this, the lines will become even more darker and clear. If you compare it with A4 file, you can see the difference yourself. Now let's zoom in A2 file size and see the zoom range till it gets blurry. Definitely it is way better than the A4 size file we imported. Let's open our A0 file size now and compare all three. You can see the difference on the screen. A0 size PDF have more zoom range than previous A2 or A4 size PDFs. Now let's bring in the final high resolution PDF we exported. You can see the lines in high resolution PDF are not getting darker even after increasing dark levels and adding brightness and contrast layer. But they are visible enough when we zoom in a little. 
but the level of line quality we get in this is so good. Lines also are so responsive to quick select tool when we render walls in Photoshop. To know how to render an AutoCAD plan in Photoshop in detail, check the link in the video description. Now comes the tricky part. What if you want to compose the same plan in an A4 sheet but with high resolution? This is where people make common mistake. Now first of all, let's set an A4 sheet in Photoshop with default resolution of 150 or whatever default comes in your Photoshop version, doesn't matter. Our A4 sheet is ready now. Let's import the A0PDF file into Photoshop. Now drag the PDF plan into our new A4 sheet we just created. When you import it, you will see that the plan is not fitting into the A4 sheet as it is an A0 size PDF. When you use transform tool Ctrl plus T, you can see the size of the image with its grip. It is way outside the A4 sheet. So how to fit that plan? One way can be using the transform grip. I can reduce the PDF plan size till it gets fit into the A4 sheet and can scale later. But when we do that and zoom in, you will see that the plan resolution is badly affected. We can't see a thing properly into it. This is the common mistake I was talking about. It must have happened with many of you guys. So don't use this method, go other way around. Instead of reducing the PDF size to fit into the A4 size, let's increase the resolution of the A4 size sheet in Photoshop. That way the dimensions of A4 sheet won't change but the resolution will increase. Let's see what I actually mean. Delete the imported PDF. Now go to image menu and open image size option. Change the resolution from 150 to 1200 this time. Why 1200? Because last time when we imported the A0 PDF, you saw the size of that file was way big than the A4 sheet here. So by increasing the resolution to 1200, I am going to match that size without making any change in the dimensions of A4 sheet, which is 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. It will take some time and bam, your resolution has increased. Now when you drag the A0 size PDF plan into it, it will easily fit in. We don't have to reduce the size of it anymore. Let's darker the lines here as we did in previous step. And now when I zoom in, you can see such fine lines without pixelation or image blurry. But for scaling, you can set your plan accordingly. Small reduction in size won't affect the PDF plan resolution much. To know how to scale a plan in Photoshop, watch another detailed video from the description. Same way you can import any dimension of file and compose in your desired sheet size without disturbing the PDF resolution in Photoshop. But more large size PDF you will bring and try to fit it in small size sheet in Photoshop. As I did in previous example, inserted a A0 size exported PDF into A4 sheet in Photoshop by increasing the resolution very much. This can end up in the increase of Photoshop file size. So depending on your computer performance, choose the size of exporting PDF from AutoCAD. For example, if I save this file as it is with the PDF plan imported, and check the file size we are getting. It's around 30 MB, which is okay for working, but the size will increase as you will start adding textures and other rendering materials into it. 
but it's still manageable up to 150 MB if you have a good configuration or even more. If you import an A3 or A2 size exported PDF file in Photoshop, the Photoshop file size will reduce with little degradation in PDF plan resolution. So choose what kind of work you are doing and export or import that quality of PDF file. I hope guys I am clear in this video and helped you somehow. If it really helped then like it, share it. If you have any issue note them down in comment section please. Thanks. See you again with another solutions like this.